we made it to our first spot, which is Hadaras. And we're camping at Frisco Campground, but I uh, decided to come down here and grill up some steaks on the beach. So uh, Quentin is digging the hole right now, um, and then we're gonna get her going. <laughs> Right, guys here's a pro tip 50 cent apple pies from Walmart throw this puppy on a cast iron skillet and you got yourself the cheapest dessert that you could ever find Tonight. What are we making? Oh, dude, we got some filet mignon, we got some onion, some corn on the cob. We also have some bomb apple pies, homemade straight from Walmart. No, yeah, man, we got a we got a bomb meal coming. Cooked right on the ocean here. Not a bad time. Let's go. Let's go. You know, the wind had a little effect on our cooking today. The yeah. Wind, the wind did a little damage. It's a little windy. You can't really tell. You can probably hear it, but it is whipping right now like whipping so the sand just flew all up on our <laughs> steaks and everything but we're still having a good time right now we're just going to uh, pack up the camp maybe cook a little breakfast and then uh, head out we have a big day planned we are going to be hopping on three ferries today our first ferry is going to be taking us from Cape Hatteras over to Ocracoke. And then from Ocracoke, we're going to hop on another ferry over to Cedar Island. And then from there, we have a 25 minute drive down to Davis where we catch our last ferry to Cape Lookout. So we're super stoked and that is today. currently on our first ferry, headed to our second ferry, which is um, not guaranteed. They said that there is some room on it and we can potentially get squeaked onto it, um, but I don't know. We just kind of finessed our way onto the second ferry. Remember how I said book your reservations a day in advance well turns out if you're sly with it if you're quick with it you don't have to uh, we just walked up to the ticket booth and we're like hey uh, Katie said that we could squeak on to the 430 um, he's like you have to book a day in advance and I'm like well Katie said that she might be able to get us on here so we went and talked to the person and he's like uh, uh, he's like all right we'll come back here at 330 and uh, we'll get you on so uh, we're gonna leave it as not recommended definitely don't <laughs> do that uh, but we were able to squeak on, so we're not stuck here on Ochre Coke. So uh, we have about two and a half hours to kill, so we're gonna hit this place called, what is it called, Scallywags? Smack Nally's, baby. Smack Nally's Seafood Bar, Anybody so. with the name Smack Nally's? I think Smacks, we're gonna go for that. Oh, baby, you know it's gonna be good. <laughs> Smack Nally's. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This looks phenomenal. Oh. Eating some drumfish. Right on the water, you're as close as you can get. It is getting dark, these clouds, these clouds 
rolling in are kind of freaking me out. You can't see land anywhere. And we're just kind of in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's about a two hour, 25 minute ferry from Ocracoke to Cedar Island. Um, so I've just been sitting here actually editing part of the vlog that you're watching right now and uh, doing some client projects and just chilling out. Into the car, dude. <laughs> Let's we're, go. We're gonna get so, I can't even open the door. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. This is no good. Oh shoot. Oh my gosh. Cedar Island. So the ferry was like two and a half hours long and uh, about halfway through a storm rolled in. Well, it wasn't really a storm, but it was extremely windy and just dumping rain. Um, so that was kind of a fun experience. But uh, yeah, we just got here to Cedar Island and now we gotta look for a campsite because uh, we didn't book one. Sometimes it's way, way more fun to just go with the flow and not have a plan, right? But some people need the plan to function. I'm not one of those people. All right, just woke up. We're on a middle of a forest road somewhere um, near our ferry. So we spent the night trying to find a campsite, obviously. We're just way back like four miles out to this dead end road. Um, so a pro tip, forest roads are your friend. Steve came and met up with us last night. So uh, we are ready to go and now we got a crew. So it's gonna be a good time. have officially made it to Cape Lookout. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful blue bird North Carolina day. Can I have a can I have a zoom here? No big deal. Sorry. Like I say, if you if you follow me on Instagram, I always say we take working remote very, very seriously. And when we say working remote, we mean we don't mess around. We don't play jokes. We work remote. We're about to uh, cook a breakfast skillet. Quentin says he makes the best. Uh, breakfast skillet this side of the Mississippi, so uh, we'll all be the judge of that. And by this side, I mean both sides. I live in the west. Oh, both sides of the Mississippi, <laughs> I guess. So that, that's a heavy claim. That's a heavy claim. Alive, trying to hydrate it, refrigerate it, freeze it, cool it, skin it. That was just kind of weird. Scale it. Hey, Steve. Look at look at our Subarus over there. Look at, look at them beauties. Look yeah. at them beauties. Cape Lookout. Driving on the beach. Camping on the beach. They said Subi won't do. They said Subi won't do. How, I mean, how many other Subarus have you seen? Well, there's one behind us, but.
Fisher Food, not friends. 